Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, Lunar Legends. Welcome back to another stellar episode of Moon Mayhem. Did you know that besides Earth, the only other place in the universe that people have visited is the moon? That's right. Our lunar neighbor isn't just a shiny nightlight. It's a natural satellite. But wait, what's a natural satellite? It's like a planet's little buddy that orbits around it. The moon orbits Earth, just like Earth orbits the sun. Sometimes the moon is closer to us and sometimes it's farther away because it doesn't travel in a perfect circle. Imagine it's like a wobbly hula hoop. Oh, and get this. The moon is made up of metal and rock, just like Earth and our planetary pals Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Its outer shell, called the crust, is covered by lunar soil. This soil is super fine rock particles, kind of like powdered sugar, but less tasty. Gravity is the force that pulls everything together. It's what keeps you and everything else on Earth from floating away like balloons. Fun fact, you weigh more on Earth than you would on the moon because Earth's gravity is much stronger. Imagine bouncing around like an astronaut jumping high on the moon. Okay, quick quiz time. Do you think astronauts can jump higher on the moon or on Earth? A, the moon. B, Earth. Have you selected the option? A, yes. Folks, right answer. Moving on Earth is way bigger than the moon, about four times bigger. Earth is 8,000 miles across, while the moon is only about 2,000 miles across. That's like the distance from Utah to New York. Speaking of distances, did you know the sun is about 93 million miles away from us? It feels close because we can feel its warmth, but it's actually super far. If we could travel to the sun by plane, it would take 19 years to get there. Now the moon is much closer, about 239,000 miles away. It takes astronauts about three days to get there. The first person to walk on the moon was Neil Armstrong on July 20th, 1969, with his buddy Buzz Aldrin. Imagine being the first humans to step on another world. NASA, the space program for the United States, organized five more moon landings after Armstrong's mission. The last one was on December 11th, 1972. Even though there are some mountains on the moon, it's mostly made up of rock and dust. Meteorites have made craters, but there's no weather to change the surface like on Earth. The moon also spins on its axis, but much more slowly. It takes about 27 days for the moon to make one full spin. Did you know the moon causes tides in our oceans? Tides are when ocean water rises and falls. The gravitational pull of the moon makes this happen, which is pretty neat. The moon looks different each night because of its phases. Sometimes it's a thin sliver. Sometimes it's a full circle. When the moon is between the sun and earth, we see a new moon, which is dark. As it moves, we see more of it until it becomes a full moon. Then it starts getting smaller again. Last quiz question. Which phase of the moon do you see when it's fully lit up and bright? A, new moon. B, first quarter. C, full moon. D, waxing crescent. Have you selected the option C? Well done. Full moon is the right answer. In ancient times, people used the moon's phases to travel and keep track of time. Next time you look up at the night sky, notice how the moon changes shape. Maybe one day, you'll be the next person to walk on the moon. So there you have it, folks. We've explored the moon and its phases. We learned how gravity works, why the moon causes tides, and the incredible journeys of astronauts. Why did the astronaut break up with the moon? Because it needed space. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids tablet. See you next time, Lunar Legends. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out getgoalie.com.